Hey everyone, it is time for Chica Chat. And as you can see, we are in a new, new space, a uh, new apartment, but I've also put up sheets and I can see that they are not ironed. I still haven't ironed them yet. Uh, oops, <laughs> we're still unpacking. So the ironing board is in the garage and apparently that's too far for me to walk to actually go and get it. So I've just decided to not. And it's been really hot, so that's my excuse. <laughs> Currently, it is 8.30 in the morning and already almost 85. So that's that, that's fun. I'm melting slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm not wearing glasses and you guys can't tell, but I can because the world is a much clearer, clearer place. But I got LASIK just two days ago. This is the morning of my second day. Hi Rosie! It's amazing. It's kind of crazy. I keep having this weird sensation of like why don't I feel my contacts because I was really aware of my contacts. My eyes just were always very irritated with them in uh, and I also am like well if my contacts aren't in I need to have something on my face and there's nothing on my face except for air. So it's been really cool to just have live life on the other side like you all normal people with 20-20 vision what the heck, man? <laughs> but I have like four different eye scrap eye drop prescriptions that I have to do. Like one of them is every half hour because it's just to keep my eyes moisturized so they heal. Moisture. And then there's another one I do like two times a day, and there's one that I do five times a day, four times a day. It's just crazy. So I look weird because I have this bag of eye drops that I'm carrying with me all the time, and I'm like at the store, I'm like, where do I find a place to eye drop myself? It's kind of, kind of fun. <laughs> I have video of the procedure, so look away for a little bit if you don't want to see, but it's really, really cool. So basically, uh, all they did was they numbed my eyes. I took Valium, I think is what they gave me, just to calm me down, and it kind of made me feel floaty and happy. They sat me in a room with a water fountain where I tried to get Sam to like do a little bit for Chica Chat, but it was just really awkward, so that didn't happen. And then he got to film one of my eyes. Technically, I guess we weren't even allowed to film, but the ladies were nice enough to let us do that. And uh, all they do is they suction cup a thing to your eye. They basically tell you to breathe and they hold your shoulder and squeeze it very comfortingly because you're all of a sudden grabbing the pillow like this, even though you're calm, because you know it's about to start and then they, you see these rings of light that are really pretty and then they press on it and your eye gets suction cupped and then it goes black, like gray, and then it goes black and then you feel this pressure and then you feel them like do something with your eye and really I think what they're doing is uh, just like getting it ready for the flap and they cut that flap open and so you can see it's like basically they take something that goes scrubs your eye and goes bloop. and you have a flap in your eye and it looks strangely like a grape. I think that was the weirdest thing when I saw the video later and then I saw grapes at Costco. I was like, your eyeballs look like grapes with the skins peeled off when your flaps are open. <laughs> it's weird. And so then they shine a sparkly laser which I was dumb. I didn't unload all of the videos and stuff off of my camera so or my phone so Sam couldn't get video of the sparkly laser but that's fine because there's pictures of it and then they put the flap back they like scrub it with a little baby broom to like smooth it on out and then you're done and you do the same thing to the other eye it's crazy this eye feels a little bit like someone sucker punched me it's a little bit bruised on the eyeball this eye feels fine he's like sucker bring it on and so uh, my eyes feel pretty good they're just really dry all the time but if any of you think about LASIK, expensive, but not painful, just a little uncomfortable, and then now I can see. Uh, occasionally my vision does sort of go out a little bit. They said it happens, like for the first couple of weeks, even a couple of months, your vision will like, they called it the peaks and the valleys. And so my vision will sometimes be a little bit blurrier, but most of the time it's pretty good. I feel like it's good. So worth it. So worth it. In non-eyeball relating news, related news, I played Abzu for the first time. I wanted to wait until I didn't have to worry about contacts or glasses or anything, and 
I got time to sit the whole couple of hours to play. It took, hmm, when did I start? It took probably about two and a half, three hours to play, and I think part of it is because I explored a little bit more. Um, I think if I just played the game straight through for plot, it wouldn't have taken that long, maybe an hour or so. Uh, I won't give away the game itself because I think it's one that definitely should be experienced. I played it on my own on the PlayStation 4. I don't have a capture card for it. I did that intentionally because I wanted it to be, because Journey for me was a really special experience and I wanted Abzu to like have that same magic. Uh, the story is amazing. Visually, the game, like really that's where I think a lot of the magic lies, not, not only in the plot, which again, I won't talk too much about because I don't want to give it away. But the magic really lies in the visual components of that game. And one of my favorite parts of the game is that there are little statues that you can find and you can just have your character sit and meditate. And after you finish the game <clears throat> for the first time, you can actually go back and just have meditation with the creatures of Abzu. Like Journey, they use color and the tones of that color and the shades of that color to really great effect. It's just stunning just incredibly stunning. I do have to say my one complaint is the controls weren't as intuitive as Journey. I don't know if it's because maybe different people were on the development team for it. Uh, the camera kept sort of swooshing and I think it was meaning to give that majesty of the ocean, um, which at times it did, really did. There were a couple of times where I actually like grabbed my husband on the shoulder because there was a moment where uh, I, I just, we were, we were swimming with whales. It was insane. I kind of screamed because I was so excited. <laughs> oh! Pfft, silly me! One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to make a Chica Chat was to celebrate 100 subscribers! Yay! So this is something that I didn't... I didn't... I kind of knew it would eventually happen, but I didn't know when or kind of how or anything like that, and the fact that I have hit 100 is kind of incredible. Uh, first I want to thank you guys, because you're the ones tuning in and clicking buttons to enable me really to be able to do this. The really exciting thing is knowing there are people in the world that I'm able to impact and influence in whatever way. Uh, I think it's a gift that we are given if you create something and other people absorb it and consume it. You know, I, I create in a couple of different areas. I used to create as like a teacher, a classroom teacher, so I'd have lesson plans and that was the way I got through to people was creating lessons and like loving my kids. I still do that now as a dance teacher and it amazes me to no end when, you know, kids come back and they tell me things that they've learned from me. It's, I've just finished some summer camps. Um, I create as a dancer and having people come to me after they've watched something that I've done and explain how it made them feel is amazing. And then doing this on YouTube is it's just another facet of creation that I feel really gifted to be able to share. So you guys are awesome. Jung, so much love. Um, and in honor of that, of this exciting occasion, um, I wanted to do just a little like token of my appreciation. One of the games that I have loved recently and that I think everyone should play is Fossil Echo. So I have uh, just decided to give away a Steam code, Steam game code, to Fossil Echo. So if you guys comment below what, I, you know, I figure it's going to be a small contest probably. So I'm just going to put everyone's um, username in one of those random number generators so you'll get assigned a number and then I'll click go and the number generator will give me a number and then whatever username is associated with the number, bing, you will be the proud owner of Fossil Echo as a gift from me to you. If I could afford a hundred plus uh, game codes to Fossil Echo, I totally would because, you know, I would love to give everyone games, but I can't. <laughs> and this is not endorsed by anyone. This is not not paid to say anything about games ever. Again, wish I was, but not ever. But yeah, I thought it would be really nice to do something like this because you guys give me a lot with how much I've gotten to know a few of you, how much I've gotten to just enjoy being on the internet with you guys and creating this little but beautiful community and I want to give something back. So that's that. So 100 subscribers. 
LASIK, ABZU, HEAT WAVE, NEW APARTMENT, ah! It's crazy, but it's awesome. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you're staying cool, and if you're in some area of the world that's really hot, or no, really cold, too bad you don't live in Portland, sorry. Maybe next time you could come down here. We have lots of heat to share. And yeah, cool. I'll see you guys in the next video.